Environmental protection is a practice of protecting the natural environment on individual, organizational or governmental levels for the benefit of both the natural environment and humans. Due to the pressures of population and technology, the biophysical environment is being degraded, sometimes permanently. This has been recognized and governments have begun placing restraints on activities that cause environmental degradation. In this presentation, role of government and non-governmental organizations in environmental health has been discussed. Since the 1960s, activity of environmental movements has created awareness of the various environmental issues. There is no agreement on the extent of the environmental impact of human activity and protection measures are occasionally criticized. Academic institutions now offer courses such as environmental studies, environmental management and environmental engineering that teach the history and methods of environment protection. Protection of the environment is needed due to various human activities. Waste production, air pollution and loss of biodiversity are some of the issues related to environmental protection. Environmental protection is influenced by three interwoven factors environmental legislation, ethics and education. Each of these factors play its part in influencing national level environmental decisions and personal level environmental values and behaviors. For environmental protection to become a reality, it is important for societies to develop each of these areas that together will inform and drive environmental decisions. The protection of environment is a pressing issue. Every person, organization and institution has an obligation and duty to protect it. Environmental protection encompasses not only pollution but also sustainable development and conservation of natural resources and the ecosystem. Today, the necessity of environmental awareness and enforcement is more demanding and urgent than ever before. Despite provisions in Indian constitution providing for environmental protection, and many statutory provisions, the environment degradation continues. The main cause for environment degradation is lack of effective enforcement of various laws. The emergence of NGOs represents an organized response by civil society, especially in those areas in which the state has either failed to reach or done so inadequately. The importance of public awareness and NGOs involved in environmental protection is acknowledged worldwide. NGOs have been taking a number of steps to promote discussion and debate about environmental issues outside the broad spheres of popular media and the educational system. Non-governmental organizations have played a major role in pushing for sustainable development at the international level. Some of the environmental NGOs in India that have been successful and achieved much in the field of environment protection conservation and sustainable development. Indian Environmental Society, a non-profit development organization, has been promoting environmental improvement initiatives in India since 1972. IES is active in environmental education, biodiversity conservation, information dissemination, solid management, eco-technology and heritage conservation. Environmental education has been the centerpiece of all programs of the society. The organization is meritoriously operating in different states of the country. WWF is engaged in a multitude of activities. For protection and conservation of the environment in the Indian context, climate change and energy conservation are among the chief areas of concern for the organization. The Forest and Biodiversity Conservation Division strives to promote and enhance conservation of forest ecosystems in the country through a participatory approach involving key stakeholders. Through its environment education program, it aims at strengthening individual and institutional capacity in nature conservation and environmental protection through widespread education and awareness. The WWF India mission has five broad program components. Promoting India's ecological security, restoring the ecological balance, conserving biological diversity, ensuring sustainable use of the natural resource base, minimizing pollution and wasteful consumption, and promoting sustainable lifestyles. Deeply concerned with the deteriorating environmental situation in the country, 
development alternatives initiated the clean india program with five schools in the national capital in 1996 over 2000 children have been directly trained on the environmental assessment and improvement activities they keep vigil assess environmental quality plead cajole and lead the community in monitoring environment action programs like solid waste management plantation drives energy conservation paper recycling etc to improve local environmental conditions have also been initiated by the schools residents welfare associations business and industrial associations as well as individual households campaigns against the use of poly bags fire crackers during diwali and toxic colors during holi and for saving the city's green treasure are also carried out established in 1974 is a holi independent non profit research institute its mission is to develop and promote technologies policies and institutions for efficient and sustainable use of natural resources It has been imparting environmental education through projects, workshops and audiovisual aids and quiz competitions. It deals with policy related works in the energy sector, research on environmental subjects, development of renewable energy technologies and promotion of energy efficiency in the industry and transport sector. Tata Energy Research Institute also has a major program in biotechnology. The applications of which are oriented toward increased biomass production conversion of waste into useful products and mitigating the harmful environmental impacts of several economic activities the global presence and reach attained by teri are not only substantiated by its presence in different parts of the world but also in terms of wide geographical relevance of its activities symbolis of this fact is the annual daily sustainable development summit a major event focusing on sustainable development the pursuit of the millennium development goals and assessment of worldwide progress in these critical areas environmental non governmental organizations in recent areas have grown in size and in number as a result of governmental negligence toward the environmental crisis Non-governmental organizations have grown in importance to a point where they act as key arbitrating agents within the field of environmental policy. By interrelating global and local concerns, NGOs find themselves able to not only emphasize important ecological issues but also raise consciousness about the environment. Several federal agencies are responsible for one or more aspects of the proposed geologic repository at Ukraine Mountain Nevada. Environmental Protection Agency is responsible for developing site specific standards for Yucca Mountain Nevada. These standards protect public health and the environment from harmful exposure to the radioactive waste which would be stored and disposed in the proposed underground geologic repository. EPA's standards address all environmental pathways air ground water and soil The US Department of Energy is responsible for the construction management and operation of the potential geologic repository at Yucca Mountain Nevada Department of Energy follows Occupational Safety and Health Administration regulations to ensure the safety and health of workers on site It is working with the Department of Interior's US Geological Survey on site characterization issues and activities. Next is Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is responsible for determining whether DOE will receive the necessary licenses to dispose of spent nuclear fuel and high level radioactive waste in potential Yucca Mountain repository. Coming to the slide 8 let's take a look at the Bombay Natural History Society founded in 1883 is recognized as one of the foremost conservation research organizations in the world BNHS aims to collect data on the specimens on natural history throughout the Indian subcontinent 
It aims to disseminate knowledge of flora and fauna by means of lectures, field trips, literature, expeditions and to study wildlife related problems and recommend management plans to conserve wildlife and its habitat. It conducts field research projects on bird migration. It also conducts studies of certain endangered species of wildlife and their habitat and through environmental education imparts the knowledge and awareness of the need to conserve wildlife. Development alternative groups based in Delhi works in all parts of the country. It was established in 1983 to design options and promote sustainable development through programs of economic efficiency, equity and social justice, resource conservation and self-reliance. Its activities cover the entire nation. It is working in the field of pollution monitoring and control, waste recycling, management, wasteland development and appropriate technology. Its objective is to design options and promote sustainable development through programs of economic efficiency, equity and social justice, environmental harmony, resource conservation and self-reliance. The mission of United Nations Environment Program is to provide leadership and encourage partnership in caring for the environment by inspiring, informing and enabling nations and peoples to improve their quality of life without compromising that of future generations. UNEP's mandate is now centered on five primary roles. Keeping the world environmental situation under review, catalyzing and promoting international cooperation and action, providing policy advice and early warning information based upon sound science and assessments, facilitating the development, implementation and evolution of norms and standards, and developing coherent interlinkages among international environmental conventions, strengthening technology support and capacity in line with country needs and priorities. So this was a small presentation about the major role played by government and non-governmental organizations in creating a better and healthy environment. Thank you.